Hey, hey folks, welcome back to another video. Hope everyone is doing awesomely. Um, just want to show you the new Black Series 6 inch 4 LOM figure. Um, got this guy a couple of weeks ago, or a week, or week and a half, week or two ago. Um, he's sort of hit and miss with where he's popping up at retail at the moment. Seems like he's starting to show up pretty heavily in uh, Canada and North, some areas of North America. Um, he's sort of almost part of a revision wave of the uh, first wave of solo figures. Um, so he comes in the wave with uh, Kira, which I will have a, do have a video on next. Um, so stay tuned for that one. But uh, you have to bear, do without my um, normal background at the moment. I've normally just got a piece of cardboard in the background, but I just want to try this out and just, I've got a little table here that I've, uh, that I've grabbed to shoot some videos like this on. So hopefully it works okay. And hopefully with my lighting, um, being slightly improved you can still get a good look at this thing and hopefully the background's not too much of a distraction but yeah let me know what you think anyway if you'd rather me put up try and find a way to put up a background I will um, it's just uh, yeah just haven't got one organised at the moment but this is a cool figure uh, fortunately I don't have the box to show you um, I got a little bit hasty and threw that one out before I recorded this video but uh yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy with this guy. Um, very much looking forward to finishing the group of six with uh, Zuckus and Dengar. And he comes with this uh, blaster rifle that we've seen with uh, some sand troopers in the past, I think, and maybe the maybe some of the biker scout figures that have come with the speeder bikes I think one came with the shadow trooper as well and so we've had these before it's uh unfortunately there's no detail painted on the blaster it's just a solid solid gray plastic but that's okay oh uh, pop that out of hands because it's uh it's a pretty good looking figure um for a droid but uh, I do like what they've done with the elbows, and I wish they'd uh, I wish they'd put this together before they did the three PO. So I've no doubt we might see a three PO with this sort of. There's almost like a little groove in the uh, forearm there where that sort of pin can move in and out, up and down. But yeah, like I said, I really wish they'd uh, worked it out before they did the three PO because having those arms not move. Well, it's not painful, it's, you know, it's a little bit of a pain in the bottom, but this just adds so much more to it, so hopefully we see that in the future. If not, we'll live. But let's have a look at this guy's head. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's showing up okay. I do apologise, and I will try and work out better ways to do this again. But, uh... The way it's appearing on my little LCD screen, it seems to be picking it up okay. But uh, I'm really, really liking this. And uh, if I can quickly find a light, I'll use my phone light. Now the head, the head sculpt is made out of a <clears throat> translucent green plastic. So it's paint over. So when you shine a light behind it, that plastic sort of illuminates with the eyes where they haven't the only paintwork is really that, that sort of gold beehive looking pattern. Um, so when you shine a light, his eyes really light up. And I think that's a, that's a really cool feature. The detailing's pretty nice on this. It's uh, like a solid dark gray charcoal, not quite black. Uh, paint all over it and then it's sort of got this sort of rusted look all throughout all the joints and grooves it looks quite good you can see it through the arms there on the back you can sort of see it prominently in between those uh, panels on the back armor there and on his uh, droid butt down the legs So he's, uh, he hasn't had an oil bath in a while. 
four LOMs, a cool figure, cool bounty hunter. Um, yeah, looking forward to having his uh, partner Zuckus and finishing the lineup with Dengar hopefully later this year because they're, they're a good good bunch of bounty hunters and yeah, they've been well overdue. So I definitely recommend picking this one up if you can. He's a, he's a cool figure. We'll go through the articulation actually. He's got the ball jointed head. She gets a pretty good range of movement. Can't tell if he's got the new sort of socket like the uh, solo figures have or whether it's a, I think it is, it's that sort of double socket pin thing. I don't know what to call it yet. Um, he's got hinges at the shoulders, the swivel in that armor there, and the hinge underneath it. Swivel at the uh, forearm there. Single joint in the elbow. Uh, ball hinge wrists, got that torso joint, uh, ball hinge hips, swivel the thighs, sort of just in between that armor plate there, joints in the knees and ankles. So a really good range of articulation with this one. Get some great poses. So I hope you've enjoyed this video guys. Um, it's only a short one. Keep it short and sweet. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, we are putting Kira up next. So stay tuned for that, and until my next video, may the force be with you.